What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Bunny, and welcome to the one-shot skirmish in which I played flawlessly in this first round right here and getting so many kills without even getting killed once, okay? I want to show you this full match because it is so insane. All right, let's start off with the first one here. He dodges this one, but he wasn't ready for this one. Boom! Kill number one. All right, there's more to come, so let's just use the opportunity to shoot into him right here while he's trying to block that uh, shot from the other guy. Getting hit myself a little bit, but getting the kill afterwards. So, two kills, zero deaths, okay? And from now on, I think I'm gonna leave away the zero deaths, because there won't be any deaths in this first gameplay video here, or gameplay uh, map. So, let's start off with this guy. We're fully charged, I'm sending one shot, then I wait a second, and then I send the second shot. So, <laughs> so that he's like, boom! What was that? Boom! <laughs> and then gets killed. That's so awesome, dude. I love this strategy of firing one, waiting a second, firing the second, because it works so often. You wouldn't believe how often that works. So, corner shooting, also a thing you can do very well in this game here, um, in this gameplay uh, situation on this skirmish. Uh, especially with a Raven and some other robots like the Natasha, too. So, sending these two shots at the guy all the way on the other side of the map, and uh, somehow getting the kills. <laughs> by the way, the Raven was by far the strongest robots of all these. Here, let, by the way, boom, one shot, and then a second later the next shot. And it worked again, <laughs> getting him right when he thought, aha, okay, he has already fired, turns around, Ish. and then it is, that was it. Maybe we can do it yet again. One shot and second shot. <laughs> Boom, it worked again. I can't believe it works so many times. Like I said, guys, you should try this strategy if you get the chance to play this. It works so well. All right, and uh, something that you also need to know is that, like I said, the Raven was the strongest one because you could make these surprise runs. These su surprise jumps where out of nowhere, suddenly you jump, boom, sideways and uh, and just instantly kill someone. Like this Natasha right there. Zang, zang. I fired both shots very quickly this time because I knew I didn't have much time for him to fire back or turn away and, you know, show me his shield. So what I did instead, I just waited and made sure... Uh, and then jumped and quick fired both of them to make sure very quickly I'm gonna be able to successfully get this one boom one shot and the second one didn't get through uh, The Natasha has so much health that it doesn't get killed by the first shot all the time, you know And once again jump up surprise fire although he should have been able to react to that in time um, But yeah, sometimes you get a hit indicator like this one boom that was a perfect hit but on his screen, he was already dashing. On my screen, he wasn't. So there's a time delay between these. And that's why I was able to kill uh, to, to hit him. But the game didn't count that hit. The second one worked, though. So, let's keep corner shooting. Sometimes you can even corner shoot when it looks like... See that? It looks like this shot went into the wall in front of me. But the shot would actually f keep flying. Because you see the angle. The, shoot, the, sh the, fire, the shot should be able to fly. It shouldn't hit the wall. There's a graphical problem where it seems to hit the wall, but it keeps flying and he didn't see it now and gets hit, right? The shot looked like it was blocked by the wall, but in fact, invisibly, it was still traveling. He didn't see it anymore and got hit completely in the face by this thing. <laughs> so, um... It's also something that you can make use of if you play this a lot, then you'll get to know these kind of weird mechanics sometimes and you find these spots where you can trigger and, and you know, just fool around with your enemy uh, and, and make him and hit him pretty well. One problem, very sad, the enemies have left the game. They were like, you know, what What am I going to do now? I lost two robots, this guy has 10 kills already, who am I? I'm never gonna catch him. And they, they just leave the game. And that's very unfortunate because I wish they would still be here and I could fight the whole map with all of them around, you know? But they just leave and that's, you know, so we only have this one enemy here. Who is, by the way, playing very careful now. I'm trying to fool around with him, messing around, firing one shot to lure him out, but he always uses his dash. And there's not going to be any successful attack until I decide to go for him here, okay? So let's start off with this. I decided to walk up with my shield, jump, block the damage with the shield, and then instantly do it, do it to him. I got his shield, I think, but I didn't get him. So once again, we're still not doing any progress. Let's go forward even more so. Um, <laughs> we're still dashing, still jumping, and no one's really gonna kill anybody right here. And uh, I think now, though, we're gonna get somewhere. He's coming out for another attack run, bringing up the shield, and uh, boom, boom, I fired both shots, the but I fired them in sequence. That's very important, never fire them all at once. Always fire one and then the other, because if there is a physical shield, first shot will break the shield, the second shot will kill the robot. 
if you fire both at once, then both shots will simply break the shield, simply break the shield, and none additional shot will be left to kill him, right? Always fire in sequence if you can. And uh, yeah, so it's unfortunately still only this one guy. If there was three or four more people and I could have remained being lucky and I could have remained doing a good job, then maybe I could have ended up with 25 kills and no, not a single death. That would have been so awesome. <laughs> unfortunately, that's not the case here. We have already hit this guy right there. Who was it? Um, ah, he's still alive. I think, is it a Strider again? Did he come with another Strider? Uh, whatever it is, he broke it, he destroyed it now, and he jumped into another robot. This is the Raven. And like I said, I'm using my jump as a surprise attack, right? He's using the jump to get here very quickly. And uh, although I sh definitely hit him, I definitely hit him with both shots. There was no way he could have dodged a shot. But the game told me now that none of my shots mid hit. hit, hit. He both ha he's both shields still active, and his robot is at 100%. So I, need I must ask War Robots, if I didn't... You know, what, what did I hit then <laughs> when it wasn't him? See, and that's where the bugginess comes into play sometimes. But very, very interesting game mode anyways, and I really love these ones. There was one before where we did that, and now we have them here. Very, very nice robots, by the way. Also good robot choices. I uh, lure out his shot right here. And then sent my shots when I think there's a chance for him to walk out. I got him pretty good with one hit, but he's still alive, so... Uh, the next one, though, finishes him off. Because just one squeezy, tiny little mini charge shot is going to be enough to kill him. By the way, this is post-commentary. I played this before uh, a couple of... Uh, uh, yesterday, in fact. Yeah, yesterday when I played it. So far, we have gotten 14 kills, ladies and gentlemen. And we are still using the first robot. Uh, I got him. You saw the hit indicator, but it must have been the physical shield that I got. Because he didn't suffer any damage from this. So yeah, he knows I can send two shots, uh, unfortunately my shot went into the wall, maybe that would have gotten him there. But I also don't want to risk, you know, getting hit now, because I have a lot to lose here. I have more to lose than he has. What he wants to do is break my winning streak, he wants to break that streak, he's got nothing really to lose. If he loses now, then well, I have just one more death, uh, one more kill. But what I have to lose is this awesome streak, something I've never been able to accomplish before in War Robots, ever. Never had that many kills with just one robot, you know? And so let's keep it up and I just want to make sure I'm never, never getting hit. I'm dodging his shot and I make him run into my shots because he wanted to keep me in line of sight. And that's why he walked in there and uh, and got destroyed. That's it. He's got no further robots. The others are unfortunately left the game. So there's only 15 kills for me here with only z zero deaths. Just not even once died. And 2.2 million damage done. All right. So in this case here, you saw I made a mistake. I jumped up. And, uh, and I fired both at once. Never do this, always in sequence. I thought with a surprise attack I would be able to get him super quick, but I, uh, he had his shield my way, so no way. And uh, let's go, let's keep going here. There's a dude coming over here, it's a Strider. I, uh, I think I, I hit his shield or something. Or it was once again such a situation where the game says, no, on his screen he was already in safety. But he wasn't ready for this one. <laughs> he, oh man, he ran right into that one. <laughs> that was so brutal, dude. Come on, man. You just gotta be careful. You know this is a raven, he can jump up. You gotta expect him to do that. You gotta hold up your shield, sir. Boom, boom. Okay, so one of the shots broke the shield. The other shot uh, almost took the robot down. They were fully charged shots, and that proves that the Petten has enough HP. Look at this, I'm getting hit here. Look at that weird shot, look, boop, I walk into corner and I just got, still got hit somehow. But uh, the fact that my fully charged shot did not kill the Petten shows he's got enough HP not to get killed, that, killed by that, right? So now I'm actually using my jump here, and I'm trying to get this kill from behind. Nice, okay. And then this guy... Oh no! What? He still has HP there. You gotta be joking me, man. I should have turned right, uh, away so that I didn't lose my weapon. Because now I have once again five kills with just one robot. But um, yeah, I'm still. Uh, I ha I've lost my weapon. Here, once again, fully charged shot. And the patent's like, yeah, I can take it. Bing! One of these shots where it looks like it goes into the wall, but it actually doesn't. 
So an Inquisitor, also interesting that they left the Inquisitor in there, but he has only one of these weapons, you know? He's got a stealth and he's got two shields, but only one weapon. So it's really balanced. It is so well balanced. The Patton can take a hit and not die, uh, but cannot jump. The Raven gets killed by one shot, but... Um, you know, but can, can jump and has two weapons, while the Strider can just constantly dash forever and just never get really hit, but only has one weapon himself. And it's just really well balanced here. It's very, they have really put a lot of time and effort into thinking which robot setups they implement into this, uh, into this game mode. And I really appreciate the fact that it went so well. I'm now gonna give up this robot, I scrapped it myself because I didn't want to continue with just one weapon and I wanted to have fun. Corner shooting, BOOM! Making him run into this. Was he full? Wait a minute, this guy was full. Maybe the Natasha with his slow, super large weapons, uh, maybe has dealing a little bit more damage to actually one hit kill a Patton. Because the Raven shot would not have killed that Patton, but the Natasha did. And I think that may have been another pattern right there, I'm not sure. Or, or no, it was a raven, he was, was one-tapped. But I'm not sure which of these two shots did it. One of them did it for sure. Let's try to corner shoot this guy. Zing! And his shot went, you know, even if he did fire, it went right, walk, right past me because I reversed my movement. And these shots are quite slow, right? So you can, you know, change movement direction and the shot will go somewhere else instead i'm trying to be ready for him to corner shoot to the right and uh, to the left side didn't work but i still have this column to allow me to corner shoot to the right and seal the fate of this guy there's one more dude left alive and 14 kills so far let's make the 15th one bam okay so last kill once again in both rounds i think we did 15 kills exactly wasn't it so let's see when it comes to damage 2.2 million was the first damage on the first round let's see how much it is this time all right, come on, show it to me. And it is yet another almost 2.2 million damage once again. So, yeah, I love this gameplay. I wanted to share this with you because it was so flawlessly how I played in this first round. I really loved it. I regret that enemies dropped out of the match. They should have kept in the match and made this more interesting, but it's just going to happen sometimes. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can it for more. Thanks for being with me. You guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.